Hello, hello. Good morning. Hello. Good afternoon. <laughs> Good evening. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi. All right. Good evening. Hello. How are you? That's fine. Um, waiting for the start the, the, the English classes. <laughs> okay, good. Good. Uh, I'm sorry about yesterday. I had this big blackout. Uh, yeah. I had no electricity all night. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. But, I went to uh, sleep. I uh, don't know what time it came back. I, 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 <laughs> in, in my case, is the 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 I I couldn't uh, work in the platform because uh, the the video is uh, cooling cooling watches. When yesterday? Today. No, today. This day. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Hi, Ingrid. Hi. I you, look, you look different today. Yeah, I have been in a meeting. <laughs> oh, okay. So I have a makeup and... and you look my... very nice. Uh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> All right. Hello, Elena. Hi, Joe. How are you? Hi, fine. Fine. Here at the house. <laughs> okay. Hello, Patricia. Hello, teacher. Hi, guys. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you? Everything good? How is life treating you? Everything good? Everything's good. Thank God. All right. Yeah, really good. Oh, oh yeah? Why is that? Work. Okay. But fine. I, I feel good. And you? I'm okay. Thank you. Thank you. What about you? I'm, I'm, I am a little angry. Ah, really? Because yesterday. Just to dinner. No, no. Yesterday, the um, <coughs> the uh, the government passed passed by my house. You know what the food? With with the food supply. The government passed. Yes. The soldiers, uh -huh. the army, I think it's the army. Uh -huh. uh, they passed in my neighborhood and they were giving out food, you know, the boxes. I'm like, oh, that's cool, man. They passed in every house except my block. No. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're like, what the hell? <laughs> what about us? But you know, I mean, we're like in between. The block next to us got it. The block next to us got it, and we we didn't. So it's not. I mean, yeah, it's nice. But I just want to receive the food because it's nice, you know. But we're like, okay, <laughs> they forgot about us. <laughs> but it's cool. Have they passed by your house? Hmm. They passed in August. My, oh, they did? My neighborhood. Oh, okay. In August. Yes. Okay, let me see. I was I was reading the um chat that even YouTube is not working in this moment for the for the um for the uh, platform Remember what we did uh what we did on Monday Do you remember 
Do you remember what we did on Monday? We finished. It was Teacher. about. Yes. Teacher, could you repeat again? Uh, because this is called the, the voice. I don't understand here. Oh, it's freezing? Yeah. yeah it's freezing. A little freezing. Okay, I'm sorry about that. <clears throat> I was saying, do you remember on um, Monday we did a little video of that man and um, the little island? Yes. Remember we watched that video? Yes, I tried it, uh, to listen again on the video teacher, but it's the uh, vocabulary is very difficult. Maybe not the vocabulary, the accent. Oh, the because accent, yeah. Yeah, the accent. Totally yeah. different. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, but, you know, but, you know, at least it's a good accent because a lot of people have bad accents. You know who has terrible, no, it's not a terrible accent. It's a very difficult accent. It's Asian people and Indian people. They have a terrible, uh, they have a, a, a difficult. Hold on, please. They have a difficult accent because in their native language, they speak fast. So when they try to speak English, they speak fast too, you know. So like, oh, man, I can't, I can't understand you. Mm. Hold on, please. Okay. So we'll continue. Everybody's here. Well, the majority of the people are here. Can you hear me now? Yes. yes. Yeah. All right. Who do you have right now in your shirt, Gio? This is a normal shirt, Ocean Pacific. Oh my God, you have a normal Ocean? shirt. Yeah, Ocean, Ocean something, I don't know. Ocean Bay. Ocean Bay, yeah, Ocean Bay. Ocean Bay, okay. What happened but with your, <laughs> but it's black, okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, as long as it's black. Yeah, it has to be. Yeah, it has to be black. All right, cool. Okay, so we'll continue with the platform. Um, here, I'm going to put it in this moment. Hold on, please. You're freezing. Okay, hold on. Yes, I need to freeze. Can you hear me now? Okay, what about now? Better? Yeah, better, better. 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 I don't understand. This this computer is an E core E5. I have 10 megs of internet. Maybe Claro is bad right now. Mm. It's always bad. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to share my screen with you right now. Hold on. It's hot today. Yes, a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Okay, do you see my screen? Yeah. Yes. All right. Starting. All right, we'll go with the passives. Passives with preposition. The world we live in. The platform is working now, the platform, so that's cool. 
All right, let's listen. Hi, after you listen to the audio program and watch the video with the explanation, we are sure you will understand how to describe causes using by, because of, due to, as a result of, and through. Stay with us. Passive with prepositions. Present continuous passive. The air is being polluted by fumes from cars and trucks. City streets are being damaged as a result of heavy traffic. Present perfect passive. The roadways have been jammed because of people's dependence on cars. Many parks have been lost through overbuilding. The homeless have been displaced due to overcrowding in city shelters. Before we go deep into the topic of passive with prepositions, I will divide the topic in two parts to make it easier for you to understand. Number one, present continuous passive. Number two, present perfect passive. I will begin now with number one. Let me show you how to form the present continuous passive. Subject plus is or are being plus past participle. What does the present continuous passive do? It describes an action that is in progress right now. For example, we may say, too many trees are being cut down right now, these days, or water is being contaminated. Ready for number two? Present perfect passive. This is how to form this tense. Subject plus has or have, been plus past participle. We use present perfect passive to describe something that started before the present. The exact time isn't important. For example, too many trees have been cut down recently or in the last years. In either case, we will add a preposition right after the past participle. We may add by, because of, as a result of, due to, through. Let's then add a preposition to our last example. Too many trees have been cut down because of overbuilding. Note, these prepositions have similar meaning. Remember we have studied passive voice before? So let's make a quick review on the active and passive sentences. Active voice. Air pollution is threatening the health of people. Air pollution is the cause. Is threatening is the verb. The health of people is the object. Number one is air pollution and health of people is number two. So what we do now is exchange one and two, the object and the cause. Then write a preposition, the health of people by air pollution. Notice we left a blank space on the verb. That's because we need to identify the original tense. In this case, it's present continuous. And write the verb in that tense. For example, is or are being. Then take the original verb, example, threatened, and make it past participle of it. We will be left out with is or are being plus threatened. We want you to do the next exercise. Rewrite the following sentences using passive plus the prepositions given. Remember, you may do them on our discussion box as well as in your notebooks. Number one, air pollution is threatening the health of people in urban areas. Bye. Number two, livestock farms have contaminated soil and underground water because of. Number three, the burning of gas, oil, and coal has created acid rain as a result of. The use of CFCs in products like hairspray has created a hole in the ozone layer through. Number five, the destruction of rainforest is harming rare plants and wildlife through. Number six, the growth of suburbs has eaten up huge amounts of farmland due to. Number 
That was easy. Did you understand? Yes. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Oh, yeah. I think, yeah, I, I, there was a lot of information. Okay, before we continue. Okay, before we continue. Do you understand what is a passive voice? And what is an active voice? Or do you have an no. idea? No. The difference no. is because the donor of the action of is not the, the, the donor. Okay. Let me do something here. Hold on, I'm, I'm doing something right now. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm using this marker. Ooh, it's strong. Can you see this? Oh, yes. It's a whale. Yeah, I don't, it, it was actually supposed to be a shark, but okay, it can be a whale. <laughs> <laughs> it, it depends on your artistic vision. <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. Okay, but what is the action you see right there? The shark is eating a uh, small fish. Mike. So you say, I, I think Gio said Joe is going to eat Mike. Yeah. Okay, yeah. something different? No, teacher. What, what, okay, yeah, thank Mike you. Mike is going to eat by Joe. Mike is going to be eaten by Joe. Yes, it's correct too. Joe is going to eat Mike and Mike is going to be eaten by Joe. Both are correct. One is active and one is passive. Which one is active? Joey. Why? Do you know why, Carla? Because he's doing the, the action. But in the other one too, I mean, Joe is dead. Mike is dead in, in both stories. I don't know why. No, no, it's okay, but I see, it's your idea. Okay, um, listen, I remember when I learned this, active and passive voice is the same story. What changes is the subject and the object. Do you know what is a subject? Yes. So for, for example here, who is the subject? Joe. Joe. Joe is the subject, why? Because, because he's the first doing person. The action. He's doing oh. the action. Because Joe is going to do the action. And who is the object? Mike. 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 So Mike is the object because he's going to receive the action. So that's good. Um, so subject does the action, object receives the action. We need to understand that. If you do not understand that, you will not understand an active and passive voice. Okay, so an active voice is when the subject is first and the object is last. So in this case, everybody, well, the majority of the people, everybody said, Joe is going to eat Mike. Everybody spoke passive because everybody mentioned the subject first and the object last. And an, a, and a passive, I'm sorry, everybody spoke active, I'm sorry. And a passive voice is when you change. When you put the object first 
and the subject last. So in this, but the story is the same. So in this case, Mike is going to be eaten mm -hmm. by Joe. Joe. Okay, that's the grammatical explanation. An active voice is when the subject is first and the object is last. A passive voice is when the object is first and the subject is last. Did I say that right? <laughs> so let me repeat. Active voice, what is first? Subject. The subject. subject. And the, the last is the object. And then a um, passive voice? Object is first and subject is last. Very good. That's the grammatical explanation. Now I'm going to give you the logical explanation. So what is the difference then? So what is the difference? So what is the difference? If, if you ask me, teacher, then if Joe is going to eat Mike and Mike is going to be eaten by Joe, it's the same story. So what is the difference? Does anybody know the difference? The difference about what? <laughs> of active and passive. Like, okay, like Gio, you told me, you, you said. The order, the order of object and, and subject. Okay, good, but that, that's, that's the grammatical explanation. But now let's go to the logic because, okay, everybody understands the, the grammatical explanation. Yeah. Oh, okay, so it's when the subject and the object and this and that, okay. But, si se preguntan, so what's the difference then? Si es la misma historia, so, ¿por qué contar en dos formas? It's more formal on when you are written a report. You have the, the two, been the two, written the, a report? Yeah, okay. In this case, the two are formal. Okay. Okay. The difference is, it's very simple. Listen to this. The difference is, who do you want to make more important? The subject or the object? In the passive voice, I think it's the object. But in the active, uh, the more important is the subject. Subject. Yeah. So in the in the active voice, we're making Joe important because I imagine imagine the situation. Oh my God! Look! 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 The big fish is going to eat the little fish. So I'm giving importance to the big fish. Oh, I can say, Oh my God! Look! Look! He oh man, the little fish is going to be eaten by the big fish. And making the little fish more important. Do you understand the difference now? Not really, teacher. Can you, ex could you mind explaining again, please? No, no problem, no problem. First, do you understand what is the difference between an active and a passive voice? Yes. A sentence. Yes. Okay, good. Because if we don't understand this, you will not understand the, the rest. <clears throat> okay. And the difference is, the grammatical difference is the subject, when we speak uh, active, we put the subject first and the object last, correct? Yes. And when we speak in a passive voice, is we change the order. We put the object first and the subject last. Correct? Yes. Y ahí viene la pregunta, entonces, ¿cuándo hablo activo y cuándo hablo pasivo? That is your choice. That is who you want to make important. If you want to make the subject important, speak active. If you want to make um, the object more important, speak passive. Then both are correct. The two are correct. It's the same story. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's the same, same story. The matter is, what is more important to me? Yes. Or in the situation, or in the way you want to explain. Alguien aquí está en ventas. Yeah. 
Alguien Me? trabaja en ventas? You? Yesenia? Yeah. Yeah. Where do you, where do you work? Uh, bank. From America Bank. Oh, okay. Um, I work in call centers. Y doy training in call centers. Y yo en los call centers les doy esta explicación a veces. Porque aunque ellos ya saben, obviamente, pero a veces les digo la importancia de a quién quiere ser un importante. Eh, activo y pasivo es muy, muy importante. Eh, más que todo en negocios. Porque yo les digo, ok, cuando nosotros hablamos con clientes decimos, ok, client, imagine, imagine, Gio, you're my client. And I say, ok, Gio, this is what I will do for you. I will give you a discount and I will give you three, three more months for free. Am I speaking active or passive? You speak active. active. Who am I making important? You. I. Hmm. Aunque inconscientemente quiero ganarme al cliente, pero me estoy poniendo yo antes del cliente, you know, like, Gio, I will give you the three months for free, okay, because, uh, but, you know, or I can say the different story, okay, Gio, you are a great client and you will receive three months for free from us. Mm -hmm. it's, psycho it's psychological, you know, so remember that some, one day you're going to be in, you're, you're going to, you're going to be in a situation like that. Incluso con sus parejas. Cuando van al cine. Yo, yo siempre gano. Siempre vemos la que yo quiero ver, pero psychologically. <laughs> I don't tell my wife, hey, I want to see that movie. I change because I'm making myself important. I said, okay, you said you want to watch a good movie. So, I recommend you that one. <laughs> oh, I go see, please. And then, empezamos with you, with important, speaking passive. He's like, yeah, mm, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so that, that is the difference between active and passive voice. This is, okay, so listen to this. Yesenia. Hi. Hi. Um, do you have children? Yeah, I How have old? two. Oh, two. How old is your oldest child? Excuse me? How old is your oldest child? Uh, 12 years. 12 years old, okay. Imagine he asks you, Mom, what is the difference between I and me? What is the difference between... <clears throat> I and me. Uh, uh, when when you use me is I don't know. <laughs> I yeah, I yeah. And yeah. Normally people say, "O sea, I es como I I am." ¿Entendés? Yeah. Okay. And me es como you call me. ¿entendés? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Así explican. <laughs> Generalmente. Y el pobre se queda, ok. <risa> es, en, el, en el case of I, es always subject. En the am, um, sorry, and me, you used to, so, to the object. Exactly. Because it's, the action is different. So. Yes. So now mm -hmm. this is the difference. Very good. Thank you, Veronica. I is when I do the action. Me is when I receive the action. It's an active and passive. I am going to call my mother. Subject? I. 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 Object? Mother. My mother. So now let's change. My mother is going to call me. Subject? My mother. My mother. My mother. My mother. Object? Me. Call me. me. That's the difference. Entonces, si usted pone I, me, he, him, she, her, we, us, they, them, 
Uno dice, ah, son pronombres. Yeah, but some are active pronouns and passive pronouns. Yeah. Y, okay, um, listen to this. Jorge Mendoza, are you there? Yes, sir. Jorge, listen, tell me if this is correct. Mm. My brother and me are going to buy flowers for my mother. To my mother, actually. So my brother and me are, well, my brother and me are going to invite my mother to dinner. Oh, my brother and I are going to invite my mother to dinner. Which is the correct one? The last one, teacher. My brother and I. Yes. Why? Uh, I think so because uh, the first person is to the action, and the last one person, uh, in this case, is you. Uh, is the uh, oh, let me see. Is a uh, is join is join together with the first uh, person with the action. I think so. Okay, 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 good. Somebody thinks different. What is the correct way? My brother and I, or my brother and me, are going to invite my mother to dinner. My brother, my brother and, and I. I. Oh. Everybody, you're beautiful. Thank you very much. Yes. <laughs> Those, you are correct. Yeah, my brother and I. Felicidades, porque incluso hay, hay gente que los nativos, nativos, ni hasta ellos van a oír ese error muy frecuente en ellos. Porque todos dicen, ah, my brother and I. O, o todos dicen, what you do on the weekend? Oh, my girlfriend and me, we went to the beach. You oí una sacar. That's my girlfriend and I. <laughs> yo, yo no puedo evitar eso a veces cuando digo como <laughs> but very good okay so very good very good now you understand the difference between an active and passive active and passive okay and now the examples here we um The examples on this video, they were um, passives, right? Um, one thing I, I want to ask you, by, because of, result of, and through. Um, es lo mismo, right? Because of es cuando le echan la culpa a alguien. Oh, look, my son is a drunk because of you. <laughs> it's an example. Look, your son is a drunk because of you. Okay, now let's make a passive. Think about it. Um, uh, Ingrid. Uh, hello. In, in, in this moment, in the world, many people are dying because of COVID. Okay, because of the COVID, yes. Yes, many people are dying because of the COVID. Or many people are being killed because of the COVID. Because remember what it said there? Many people are being, and then we use the verb in past participle. Um, yeah. Many people are being killed because of the COVID. Yes. Do you know? Do you know what is the difference? Well, you do know what present perfect is, correct? Yes. Yes. What is present perfect, Ingrid? Present perfect is 
when I use... Well, first of all, can you give me an example, please? I have um, eaten uh, bread and, and, and cheese. Okay. That is present perfect. The cheese inside the bread. Yeah. Yeah. With curtido. <laughs> I prefer okay. with butter, but that's with fine. butter. Yeah. Okay, good. You, you are fancy because I put margarina. Butter is too expensive. But, <laughs> butter is saying butter is butter is butter is in English. <laughs> <laughs> no, butter is mantequilla, margarine. You you can say oh. margarine. <laughs> no, but it's cool. Yeah, man, butter is very expensive. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Very good. What is present perfect then? Present um, in a sentence or, or in a time? The explanation. Uh, for me, it's something that I, I, I have already done, but it's not, it's not happening in this moment. Okay, okay, good, good. All right. It's the, the things I understand. Okay, good, yes, yes. Yesenia? Hi. Hi, Yesenia. Where do you live? In Santa Tecla. How long have you lived in Santa Tecla? Oh, 43 years. All your life? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, so you can say I have lived in Santa Tecla all my life. Okay, listen to this. I have lived in Vista Hermosa four years. But no. before, no, no, in my example, I have lived, uh -huh. I have lived in Vista Hermosa for four years and I lived in Los Planes 20 years, I think. So what is the difference between I lived and I have lived? Is the action teacher, the action, it starts before. Okay. When you live, when you live in... Now you live in Vista Hermosa, but before you live in Los Planes. Okay. Okay, yeah, yes, it's, it's the action. Which one's but the present perfect? The present perfect is when the, the, the action starts in the past, but continue to the present. Uh, Did you just Google? <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Did you Google that, Veronica? That was a perfect explanation. No, I remember that explanation. <laughs> yes, okay. Okay, that was good, yes. Yeah, so that's the difference. It, um, very good, thank you. Present perfect is an action that started in the past and is still active in the present. Yes, I have lived in, in Vista Hermosa for four years, three or four years. I don't, the action started three years ago and is still active now. That is present perfect. And I lived in Los Planes, that action started and finished. That is called simple past. Yes. Uh, Gio, are you married? Yeah. How long have you been married? I don't remember. Uh, maybe. Yeah, I know. Check Facebook. <laughs> I don't know. Check Let Facebook see. or your ring. Let me see. I don't have a ring. Yeah, me too. I don't. <laughs> and uh, see what is your me. excuse? What is your excuse, Gio? Because I, I don't want to have a scratch on it. <laughs> okay. Because okay. I'm a worker, man. So. My excuse is better. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> I am claustrophobic. Oh. <laughs> I am. No, but really, I am. Uh, like 10, 15 years ago, I had a big accident. I fell from a roof. And I don't know why after that, I have become very claustrophobic. So um, that's why I, I, I don't have watches or, or something because I always take it off and, and play with and it. Why, and why and why don't you use it green? Because uh, I don't know when, when you were claustrophobic is when you stay in the place. The spaces. Uh-huh. Clothes yeah. and, and the green? 
But good question. Is is because I don't like having things on me. Uh, I don't even have a watch. Uh, before I, I remember frequently I used the watch, and now I take them off. I, I don't know. I get desperate. This is better. So I told my wife, look, I will lose the ring. I promise you I will lose it. And it's true because sometimes I'm in my work and I take it off and, and I start playing with it because I don't like, I don't like having it. Uh, my mother always in Christmas or, or my birthday, she will give me a watch or a necklace. I never use them. So maybe, but that, that happened, Yesenia, after I became claustrophobic. I don't know if the two are have a connection, but I don't like it. Even a hat, when I use a hat, like two minutes, and I put it on and I take it off. But, but I like your excuse, Gio. You don't want to scratch it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so very good. So we understand the difference between active and passive voice, right? Okay, let's do the platform. Tell me if you see it, please. All right, knowledge check. Can you see it? Yeah. Yes. Cool. Nice. Air pollution is threatening the health of people in urban areas, right? Who, who did this already? Who did this platform? Me, teacher. All right, what did you put here? The health of people in urban areas is being threatened by air pollution. Is being threatened. Is being threat threatened by air pollution. Very good. First of all, class, do you understand what threat is? <laughs> I'm sorry? Eh, da, da, dañando. Dañando. No, no, that's not threat. Let me give you an example of what threat is. You better give me your money or I will punch you. Amenazando. Exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's the way. You better give me your money or I will punch you. I mean, <laughs> I remember the school days. <laughs> you better give me your lunch or I will kick you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but that's a threat. That's a threat. Yes? Okay, so air pollution is threatening, uh, I'm sorry, is threatening the health of people in the urban areas. And then the here is by, I'm sorry, can you repeat one more time, please? Yes, the health of people in urban areas is being threatened by air pollution. The health of people. People in urban areas? In urban areas. Mm -hmm. Is being threatened by air pollution. All right. Yes, very good. It's missing an L teacher at the end of pollution. Oh, thank you. Thank you. The fair letter is capital. Capital. Yes. And period at the end. <laughs> A period at the end. <laughs> uh oh. Thank you. I'm very picky in the grammar too. I don't know why I did it fast today. Well, pollution well, teacher. Is by uh. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right, how do you spell it? P-O-L-L-U-T-I-O-N. -L 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 I-O-N? I, yes, <laughs> yeah. repeat it. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you guys to help me do that the next time, yes, pollution. <laughs> Uh, you guys, I recommend you to read. Do you know Dr. Seuss? 
Yes. Yes, teacher. Have you heard of Dr. Seuss? Man, you should really read Dr. Seuss. Um, it is written, uh, he written the, uh, the famous movie on December, I don't remember. The Cat in the Hat. Uh, yes, too. Yeah, what I recommend you, well, you can check him out in, in YouTube. Dr. Seuss, he, he used to write books for children. But even people in the university studied his books because he liked to play with words. It is in person who is with the uh, Grinch. The Grinch? Yeah, the Grinch. The Grinch is his. Yes, beautiful. The cat in the hat, the Grinch. Oh, green eggs and ham. I love that one. Imagine green eggs and ham. But when you read that, it's very good. So you can move your move your mouth. He actually did that so children can start moving their mouth to pronounce better. Uh, he's considered a, a, in American literature one of the greatest writers, and he was for children. He so, writing in the chat, the name. Dr. Seuss. Here, let me let me give yes, you, let please. me see if I can find. Um, oh man, I found Dr. Seuss books. Uh, when I stop sharing the um, the screen, I will because I can't open the chat right now. I don't know why. When I stop sharing the screen, I will pass it on to you. Okay. Hello. Okay. Thank you. Okay. 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 Um. I, I, it, it's not giving me a chat option right now. Maybe because I'm sharing the screen. Okay, next it says, wait, I see a chat now. Oh, there you go. Thank you. There's the link. Thank you. Green eggs, I recommend you read Green Eggs and Ham. It's very good. And the, the stories are very short. Okay, next. Livestock farms have contamin, uh, contaminated soil and underground water. First of all, what is a livestock farm? I'm sorry? Okay. What is, what is, um, what is, uh, soil? Suelo. Okay, yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, ganado, ganado, granjas de ganado is a livestock farm. Hold on, I stopped sharing. I don't know why. Okay, so livestock farms have contaminated soil and underground water. Who who wants to do this one? Me, teacher. All right, let's go. Okay, uh, soil and underground water have been contaminated because of livestock farm. Because, because of, of livestock farms. Period, correct? Period, yes. <laughs> Good. Okay, so due to because of. Okay. Livestock teacher. Livestock. 
It's uh, a Bible written. Oh, oh man. I'll, I'll be honest with you. I, uh, I didn't break it. My son did. My son broke my glasses like two weeks ago. And I am really, really suffering. <laughs> because I don't have time. I, I really need to go and, um, and get my prescription. So I am suffering. Hold on. I, please, one second. My battery is going to die. Okay, thank you. Um, I have that problem that I cannot see very good from a close distance, only from a far distance. From a far distance, I'm, I'm, I'm an excellent reader, but from a close distance, I'm not. It's a close of the age. <laughs> yes, it's true. The age and all my life I've been working in front of computers. Like, yeah. Okay, next, the burning gas, oil, and coal has created acid rain as a result of. Who wants to try this one? Me. All right, let's do it. What is it? Um, the acid rain mm. have been created. Have been? Have been. Oh. Created. Are you, are you sure it's have? Uh. Has. has has good has been created as a result of the burning of gas burning the 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 warning gas oil and coal and coal of gas oil oil oily you put oily thank you yeah. and coal. Correct? Correct. All right. And after this, I want you to give me your, uh, uh, any example like, okay, next it says, who wants to do the next one? The use of CF, um, CFCs in products like hairspray and uh, has created a hole in the ozone layer through. Who wants to try that one? Me too, yeah. sir. All right, go ahead. A hole on the ozone layer. Black As holes. being created. In the ozone layer? Has, has been created. Mm -hmm. Through the, the use of PCS. PCS. Very good. And products like hair spray. C F. I'm sorry. C F C. And products like hair spray. Do women? Do you still use hairspray? No, I do. Back sometimes. That still exists? Yeah. Oh. But it depends the, the how do you oh. um, want to do in your hair. I remember a long time ago in my school, women used to use a lot of hairspray. Shh, so they could look <laughs> like bears. Yeah. yeah. Um, for a little time, I used to use a lot of hairspray because I used to have a mohawk. You know the mohawk, the pointing? I used to have three points. 
Like mm -hmm. Hawk, did you watch Cobra Kai? Yeah. Yes. That little kid Hawk, when I saw him with the Mohawk, hey, that was so cool. I had that, but it wasn't that long, it was small. Because my mother would hit me if she discovered I had a home um, Mohawk. All right, let's submit the answers. And I got two wrong. Teacher, the last one. Could you check the word product? It is the what? I'm sorry. Product. Yeah. In product. In product. Oh, in product. In. Oh, in products is true. Product. Yes, I got it right. Wait, let me check the grammar in this one. I think it is the. The nope. acid. The burning. Only acid. Without. Only acid. Acid rain. Acid rain. Acid rain has been created. 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 of of the burning. Of. 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 To turn. Oh, yes. Oh, my God, I can't see. Okay, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> there were three up. Three, three times. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That is called. Uh, <laughs> teacher, put that. Okay. Hold on, let me see. Okay, coal, oh, we got oil, uh, gas. The burning. Burning. Has been created as a result of the burning. The burning. Burning. <laughs> Has been created. <laughs> As a result of the burning of gas, oil, and coal. <clears throat> Let me see. Acid rain. Acid rain has been created. Oh, yeah. as... it's, it's being. It's being. Oh, yeah. As being. Is 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 as being. Has been. No, it's okay. Maybe I understand. Let's put is being. Is being is being created. It you has. look. It it has. Yes. It's been being. It has been. With ing. 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 Okay. As the rain is being, being, is being created. Has been. It's been, it's been, has been, been. It has been. Yes. Has been. All has right. Been. What's next here? Has been. Has been. Yeah. Yeah. That's how it was before. Yeah, but mm -hmm. I think the, but we had the, to you're missing a comma. A comma. In oil. There is a comma in oil. Okay, acerine has been. Yeah, you have to put a comma in oil. Created as a result of the oil. burning of gas, gas. Oil. oil. Oil, comma, and coal. Comma. Oil, coal, comma, you have. But, a, yeah, comma. But, but. Yeah. Uh, okay. But, but that is. In the yeah. statement, it has a comma. Yeah. Submit. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, yeah, it's true, but you know, but you. Yeah, I know. You know it's what I'm more. saying, right? Yeah. Because oil yeah. and you don't need a comma if you finish. Yeah, you don't need. Okay, yeah. let's see. Maybe that one. You have a follow up system. Really, man? That was. Oh, my God. 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> we had problems with periods and coma yeah. and <laughs> and the old exercise teacher. Yeah. You know what? Um don't worry if you get it wrong in the in the platform. Yeah. That's yeah. crazy, but you have to follow it. It's the idea. <laughs> yes. Okay, um <laughs> well thank you. Okay, I'm so going to <laughs> <laughs> Submit, yeah. I, okay. I'm a really man. That that was it. Okay. All right. Um, give me one example. Um, who have I not heard today? I have not heard Laura. Hello. Hi, Laura. Can you give me an example? What do you think is causing cancer in the world? A sentence about? I'm sorry? A sentence about? Uh, what, what do you think is causing cancer in the world? Because have you noticed like from 15 or 20 years, from 20 years to now, cancer is very, very, very big now. Because in the 80s and 70s, it wasn't, as big as now. Why do you think that is? Because of the artificial products. Yeah, me too. That's what I think. I think all the artificial, I think people um, are eating too much or people eating or the world eating artificial food is causing cancer. Mm -hmm. Imagine microwaves. Yeah, using microwaves. Yeah. Microwaves, just imagine, microwaves came out in the 80s. And as a result of the microwaves, I don't know, but a lot of cancer after that. Okay, um, we'll continue with this tomorrow, okay? So everyone, you can give me an example of an active or passive voice. Okay. okay. So, Ricardo, Ricardo. Thank you. Okay, tell me which is the correct one. Yay. Ricardo, you and I are going to go to the bar Friday night, or you and me are going to go to the bar Friday night? You and I is the correct. All right, good. All right, cool. <laughs> yeah, very good. Thank you. Okay, <laughs> class. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Have a Thank you. wonderful Thank you. Wednesday. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. Take care. Thank you. Bye.